Hey, it's great to be with you again today. Um, do you ever jump the gun when someone is trying to talk to you? And um, I know I do it, right? There are times when someone is trying to explain something to me and I immediately presuppose I know what they're going to say and I finish their sentence for them. <laughs> oh boy, my wife loves that when I do it, right? You know? And, and we do that sometimes with people that we work with. We do it with our family members, people in our neighborhood, at church, right? They start to tell us something that they have to tell us, and then we think we know what they're going to say. And instead of listening to what they're saying, we are already formulating what our response is going to be and how we're going to answer them. And we're going to fill in the blank for them and get it on with because we got places to go and things to do, right? And we hurt people that way. We start to suppose we know what they're trying to say and we fill in the blanks and we fill in their sentence and it hurts their feelings. It, it harms their psyche because they feel like they are not worth listening to. If we start to answer their questions with things that doesn't make sense to them or things that they weren't going to say to us and then, right? That's not cool. And then sometimes we think they're going to say things and we start to blurt it out and we start to get angry and we attack them verbally and they look at us like, what are you even doing right now? That's not what I was saying. You aren't listening to me. In the book of James, James, the brother of Jesus, he says, blessed are those who listen, who don't speak quickly, who hold on to their tongue and listen and are slow to get angry. And in our society today, that seems to be the norm. We lash out, we speak out, we don't listen and we get angry and offended about everything. And so we, we get offended and then we offend others. You see, when we start to speak out without listening, we harm a lot of people around us, not just our friends and family, but we can actually harm the greater community. We can harm the church because of our lack of listening skills. So as we go through these days, may we learn, that's what my mom used to do, right? Turn the key, lock the lips, listen while people try to talk to us, so that we can truly understand them, so that we can truly relate to them, and then give them words of wisdom that will help them in the end. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen? Amen.